Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you've ever struggled with screen time and blamed yourself for spending too much time on your phone, I'm hoping that this video might be quite helpful for you. In the past couple of years, I've spent so much time blaming myself for scrolling endlessly on my phone. The narrative in my head that I say to myself is that I'm lazy or unproductive or not using my time wisely. And it sort of feels like I'm out of control when I am scrolling. Like I know there's better things that I could be doing, things that would make me happier in the long run. So this resentment of my phone and the sort of guilty feelings that I have with using it so much have been simmering away for a couple of years. And it's something that I've just grown more and more resentful of. I suppose I don't like my phone anymore. And so last year I read this book called Stolen Focus by Johan Hari, which I recommend. And I also listened to this podcast from The Imperfects. And in the podcast and also in the book, people get rid of their smartphones. And I sort of had this moment of thinking, well, well, why not me? I'm not special. Why don't I try getting rid of my smartphone too? And that's what I've been doing for the past few months. So last year I locked my smartphone away in a cupboard. I turned it off. I took the SIM out and I went and got myself a dumb phone. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the four reasons why I love this phone. Before we get into that though, I just wanna say that I don't wanna come across as preachy or judgmental. This is just something that I've been experimenting with and trialing out. And I don't wanna be another voice on the internet just saying this is something you should do to be happier, more productive, anything like that. This is just me relaying my experience and the benefits that I've felt from even just owning this phone and having it there as an option if you wanna take a break from the smartphone. The number one reason why I love this phone is the sense of calm that I feel when I have it. It's an amazing feeling really. So I, when I locked away my smartphone and I picked up this phone, I just felt this relief. One of the things that was really, really bothering me was when I had my smartphone was that I felt like I had a constant list of tasks and thoughts, half mingled ideas in my head at all time. Like my head just felt cluttered, like a really, really messy room. And now the thing with this phone, is that that's completely gone. My head feels clear, uh, which is an amazing feeling. And I realized when I picked up this phone and have been using it, that it's something I haven't felt for quite a long time. And it was something that I was really craving. I feel that I'm able to process more thoughts when I have thoughts or tasks that come up I don't feel burdened by them. I'm just like, oh yeah, I need to do that at some point. You know, I'll write it, I've got a little notebook. I'll write it in my little notebook, but it doesn't sort of weigh on me. Now, of course, the other thing is that you just have more time to process your thoughts. So I'm sure that's part of why I feel calmer as well. Having this phone, you just can't get as distracted. Waiting in lines, waiting for public transport, just in sort of those moments where you'd usually reach for your iPhone and check your emails or check the news or check social media. You can't. And I've, it's actually been really interesting. I found that in those moments when I do reach for this phone, I feel a relief when I realize that I can't do those things. And I'm really grateful for that extra time that I've been able to give myself to just think like, so much information ca comes at us during the day and we see so many things. And I think previously I've always wanted to distract myself so I don't have to think, even if it's a good day, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a good day or a bad day. I think we tend to seek out distractions so we don't have to necessarily think about things or at least I do anyway. And I found it not as frightening as I thought it would be to not have something to distract myself with. Now, the second reason why I love this phone is that I have to plan and think and problem solve a little bit more than I did with my iPhone. Although this phone is still a backup, you know, I can always call someone and ask for help or get in touch with people. And it actually does have a sort of Google Maps, but it's not that great. I have to plan more. I have to, if I'm driving somewhere new, I have to either look at maps before I go or be, leave with a bit more time so I can sort of figure out the directions as I'm going and use my knowledge of the town and things like that to get there. And the other thing is you just have to problem solve a bit more. So for example, I was out in Melbourne a few weeks ago and I couldn't get home. I was quite far from public transport. Obviously you can't call an Uber on this phone, which is what I would have done previously. And I was sort of thinking, how am I gonna get home? What can I do here? And then I remembered that there's a jingle for um, a taxi ad in Australia that is sort of grilled into us. I'm not sure if it was just on repeat on the radio so much growing up, but I've got that jingle in my head. And so a few weeks ago, it was the first time I've ever called it. So I called the taxi number. It worked out really well. This need to plan, this need to problem solve, it's just 
really uh, satisfying. It makes me feel independent and it makes me feel like I'm in control and that I can actually figure out things that go wrong as they arise without needing the iPhone, without needing the convenience of that. So the third thing that I love about this phone is that it pushes me to make phone calls. I'm definitely more of a texter and probably a lot of people are a bit scared of phone calls and I definitely am. But although you can text and I do still text a lot on this, calling is just quicker, easier, simpler. And what I've really been enjoying is having a few more incidental conversations and also just like having fun conversations. If we text about plans or meeting up with friends or things like that, it's not really like often a funny conversation, but if I call someone up to make plans, we'll have a bit of a chat, have a bit of a laugh. It's really nice. It feels a bit more human to human than just sort of random text from the ether appearing on your phone. Now, the fourth thing that I love about this phone, and this is gonna sound a bit self-indulgent, so please bear with me, is that it's a conversation starter. It doesn't matter where I pull this phone out, people are interested. And I don't mean this in a, wow, look at me, I'm doing this thing, um, you should be impressed, or people should do this, or this is better. It's no means any of that. What I take away from the fact that so many people are interested is that I think it just represents this universal feeling that a lot of people have, which is the resentment of the iPhone, or wishing there was a way to have all the convenience resources of an iPhone without all the negative things that come along with it, like feeling that out of control, feeling that you're getting a fire hose of information thrown at you every day. It's often something that people haven't considered and I certainly hadn't considered sort of it was even feasible to get a dumb phone. It just hadn't crossed my mind. And that just speaks to the way that society is so dependent, in my world at least, of having an iPhone and having that computer in your pocket at all times. So I found that really interesting that people always wanna chat about it. They always wanna hear about why I'm using it, how I'm using it. They especially wanna know about what I do for photos what I do for maps and what I do for music and podcasts. And I'm happy to chat about those things. So if that's something that you're interested in, please do leave a comment down below and I'll make a video on that. So my recommendation, having used a dumb phone since last year, I think you should try it if you're interested. And I don't think that means lock your iPhone away, buy one of these and never look back. I'd recommend buying one and having it there for when you need or when you wanna take a break from the iPhone or the smartphone. It's a great thing to have. Maybe it's a weekend where you're not working. Maybe there's a week if you're going away or you just wanna, even a work week, you just wanna try it and see how you feel. I think it's a really accessible option and why not? Dumb phones are really quite inexpensive. I think the cheapest ones in Australia are about $30. I can do a video on why I chose this one, the features it has and the things that are important to me. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or ideas about other content you'd like to see, please comment it down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.